This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. A 14-year-old boy presents with a history of diminished vision for the last one month and on examination he has got this white mature cataract in his left eye and his right eye also shows early lenticular changes. The unusual history here is that the patient has suffered electrical burns about six months back and they noted this progressive loss of vision for the last one month and now has come for surgery. The electric shocks as a cause for cataract is an unusual cause for traumatic cataracts and this is one such case. The onset following an electrical injury can be immediate or delayed for the formation of cataract and in many cases may appear 1 to 12 months post injury. Obviously the treatment always is going to be the surgery and the proposed mechanism for formation of cataract following an electrical injury could be thermal denaturation, coagulation of lens proteins and electrical or oxidative injury to the lens fibers themselves causing uh, diffuse milky opacities. Now he is scheduled for surgery. This is the slit lamp examination and on dilatation we can see that multiple fibrotic zones distributed over the enter capsule. The most difficult aspect of the surgery is the rexis itself. If the rexis is got then the surgery is not going to be a big issue at all because we expect the lens to be softer and can be aspirated in a jiffy. So let's begin. The surgery is being done under topical anesthesia with a subtenance enhancement. The patient is a little bit anxious, nevertheless quite cooperative. The two side ports are made, the capsule is stained with trypan blue. The chamber is pressurized with a cohesive OVT. 2.8 mm temporal limbal based incision is created and, tom- and time to perform the rexis. So initially I start off with the forceps. I'm attempting to puncture. I'm not successful. Now is the time to switch to forceps. The flap is grasped with the forceps. And carefully, I'm just trying to size my rexus appropriately. I'm also wary about the presence of these uh, calcified zones. I want to avoid them. And I want to center my rexus as much as I can. Because the patient is young, 14 year old, the capsule would be elastic and I need to be mindful. So I am planning to go for a 4, 4.5 rexus, which would eventually turn out to be a 5 or a 5.5 millimeter rexus. Remember, these capsules are very elastic and healthy zones, and that's the reason invariably we end up having capsule opening bigger than what we actually plan to. So thankfully, we have a nice well-centered rexus. The relatively challenging part of the surgery is over, so I don't expect anything difficult at this stage. So plan is to go and aspirate the lens matter. I'm going in with my FACO probe itself. I am planning not to use any FACO power. The settings are for epinucleus mode with a vacuum of 400 and aspiration flow rate of 30. And the power we have kept at 5% linear mode, but I am not going to use it. So I am not going to use my second instrument as well. I am just going to press my aspiration and lo and behold, in a matter of few seconds, the lens matter was completely aspirated. So it is liquefied and it was just very easy. Bimanual iron is used to remove all the cortex out. Now, I don't intend to do any posterior capsule rexis, nor I have undercorrected the eye well for this patient simply because the patient is completed 14 years and going to 15. He may develop a little bit of myopia over the next few years. Maybe I'll just correct it. And I'm not doing any posterior capsule rexis. Well, patient is old enough to deal with it on the ag laser machine whenever it's required. And the planned single piece hydrophobic lens is being implanted into the eye. OVD both in front and behind the lens is aspirated out. And that's it. The case is done. These are the first day post-op pictures. And the patient has got a vision of uh, 6 by 6 parts with the near emetropic refraction and... That's it. To conclude, managing cataracts in an uncomplicated young patient is very simple. The only issue in this patient was to get the rexis right. The lens mat will be very soft and very easy to aspirate. So in pediatric cataracts, it's actually much more easier to do the surgery. Only just take care of the rexis. That's it. 
So that was it. Thank you for watching and hope you found this helpful.